Okay, and take two of this. Hopefully my computer doesn't do anything funky again. So, hello all, and welcome to another, I guess, double day. I did record, I just wasn't able to edit the video, so I'm just smushing today's and yesterday's together. Because I had an event that I went to last night, and by the time I got home, it was already way past my bedtime because I had work this morning. But yeah, and that event was kind of a part of what I wanted to talk about today, and um, that is networking. The older I get, the more I realize networking is exceedingly important to not only be successful in, say, friendships or stuff like that, because basically when you boil down to it, networking is friendship, I guess, to a very lesser degree. Also, it helps drastically in um, your professional life. I do not know a person whose parents did not tell them it's not what you know, it's who you know, but the more the older I get, the more I realize that, that is shockingly true to an unbelievable level. Because me personally, I have only had one job where I was hired by someone I did not know. And that j one job was a Walmart cashier. And we all know, or at least most people would know, getting a job at Walmart is ridiculously easy. You just had to bug the crap out of the um, personnel department for two weeks like I did. Calling every single day for a job I had for three years that I hated. Networking is important. Um, heck, I had a professor for a couple years that he is easily in my top three favorite professors of all time um, that had a saying for if you want to become successful as something you have to practice 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 research 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 and network 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 and you had to say each one of those three times or you did not get the answer right on his test because that wasn't it was the test question true because how do you do something you practice it how do you expand your knowledge on a subject you research it how do you make connections and grow your client base and your professional circle. You have to network. You have to get out and talk to people. Although I can just hear the trembling of all you little artist introverts out there. Trust me, I was one of you as well. But college and people dragging me out of my comfort zone for my own good helped me get out of that low cocoon I made for myself my freshman and sophomore year, but yeah. It's important because the more I network, the more I grow and become just like more comfortable in my element. Um, there is actually, it's a really good networking event here in um, my hometown in uh, Dallas. Every year there is a event called uh, Industry Giants put on by the Animation Guild here in town. And they bring in people from all over the place. And it is like the best time to sit and talk with people. You have people from Disney. We had an anime from The Simpsons one year. We had art directors for game companies. We had concept artists. And uh, we had a couple of years we had a recruiter there who used to do big Hollywood stuff. We have UX designers. Um, and all these people who are just like... You kind of sit and stare in awe because they have lived such interesting and colorful lives. Just hearing them talk is like one of the greatest joys, but getting to talk with, with them is even better. And the first year I went there, I went with three of my friends and we all hung together in a group. And me being my really, really not wanting to talk to anyone that I didn't know self stuck to one of my friend's sides and we just kind of went around as a unit. Um, and she would ask questions. I would be sitting there absorbing information and literally too terrified to speak because I was just kind of like starstruck. Even to the point where I'm just like kind of halfway hiding behind her. As the, as the next couple years went by, there would be times where... Um, she wouldn't be able to go, and I was kind of by myself, and I'm just like, I am wasting my time here not talking to these people. So I finally just bit the bullet and started talking, and you know what? 
he didn't kill me. And so as I forced myself to talk to more people, I got more and more comfortable with it. And now I can just go out and be perfectly fine talking to random people about what I love to do and talking, going to these events and just hanging out with my people. It's the best thing ever and you might laugh at those icebreakers that they make you do in freshman year of college, but oh my gosh, those things come in handy. But yeah, so yeah, I was at one of those things last night where um, me and probably about five or six other artists just came together and we were just um, goofing around drawing stupid little cartoon valentines for fun and just chatting and hanging out and it was like, I, it's one of the best things to do. I, I, it's like the most wonderful things to do and networking itself is like it doesn't have to be boring it doesn't have to be standing around in a stuffy hotel lobby wearing the most uncomfortable high heel shoes handing out business cards that you just had printed that day and it can be fun it can be you can go to a party and just hang out with friends and make new friends make new connections and finding these places like if you want to do something there's so many p places you can go and look to find events like this oh my gosh the um facebook event finder thing is like one of the best resources i have found and you can if you're an artist you can find uh drawing meetups there's a figure drawing group that meets like once a month near me they do uh i've seen several groups that go to the zoo and they sketch animals all day there's the animation guild in my town that they have monthly meetings it's like you can find these resources and a lot of them are really cheap to go to and or free and it is a wonderful resource and it's going to these places and talking with these people, talking with these professionals or these peers of yours that you don't even know about that want to help and each other grow because like because like coming together and as a group is like the best thing I feel because yes people are competing for the same jobs but with that competition you can also learn and grow yourself because competition doesn't have to beat the other person down for one person to win. It can help every each other grow. It's like helping each other be each other's stepping stones up to make yourself better. And I think I have rambled enough about this, but like, yeah, networking is important and it took me away from my computer and forced me to be social, which I still have problems with, but it's, it's good for you at a certain degree. It's good for you, uh, Socially is good for you, uh, emotionally is also good for you, um, can be good for you financially because you don't know, you might find someone who's like, hey, I need this person and you might just be that person. So yeah. Okay, thank you all for listening to me ramble. I'll see y'all tomorrow with day 10, I believe is what we're on, and hopefully I will be starting on the wolf animation soon. Oh god, I gotta re research references now. <laughs> uh, later.